Greetings! We will start this tutorial with an introductory video on how to get started with neuron themes. Throughout the entire series, you will witness some major tips and tricks on how to speed your workflow while designing and building your pages. We are bound to finish this exceptional portfolio homepage design to increase interactivity as well as conversions. We are going to build a fully functional, breathtaking portfolio homepage. But what about single pages? Don't worry, we have that covered too in this tutorial. We are going to design a template that will spread across all other single pages. It will basically build itself. Magic? Not much. Just a bunch of overly advanced tools that pull content dynamically. From the WordPress dashboard, in Neuron Panel, you will have access to all the major components of our themes. One that piques our interest a little more are the demo sites that our talented team of designers have crafted for you to use with just a click. Let me show you the power behind our robust one-click demo importer. Here you can view, filter and import any demo you like. It's as simple as clicking on this import button and you will have your demo imported without blinking twice. All the demo sites are fully customizable. You can style it, add your content and you'll be ready to go. But for this course, we will build everything from scratch. To get started, you can add a new page from the WordPress dashboard or click on this Create Your First Page button here. This will take us to Elementor's designing area. And now, let's take a moment to comprehend the basic layout of your designing process. On the left side of the screen, you have located all the wondrous elements that will help you build all your pages. They start from basic, general, and if you scroll down, you will see the Neuron Builder elements that comprise powerful elements to build any kind of website you wish. You have here the post element, portfolio, gallery, interactive posts, slides, and much more, which we will use later on this tutorial. And the major area here is the canvas where we interact and engage with the page in real time. Select elements, move them around, or even edit content right on the page. The hamburger menu will give you access to some more settings, like theme builder, site setting, preferences, and much more, all of which we'll find use in our continuous videos. At the bottom toolbar, we have some more granular controls like post settings. From here, you can change the title of your page or even hide it completely. And we will decide to hide it because as you've seen it, it doesn't fit our design. Next, you have the navigator. This is a very handy tool to navigate between sections, now it's empty, but you will get to witness its practicality later on this course. This toolbar also contains the history, which helps us view our recent changes. The next option will allow you to switch between devices for responsive design. Next to the responsive menu, you have the preview mode, which offers a quick way to interact with the project as if it was fully published. There are three ways how you can build the page layout. We will start with the template method. If you click on this icon here, it will open the impressive collection of pre-made templates that are fully customizable, responsive ready, and can be inserted with just a click. All of them are filtered and categorized into their respective groups, which makes it easier to look and search for any type of template you need. Ok, let's select one and insert it. Notice how the template was imported and took up the space it needed in our canvas. To tear down this template, it consists of sections, columns and elements. The section is the largest unit. If we follow this logic, it means that the elements sit inside columns who sit inside sections. To open the options panel of each unit, simply click on their handle. All the three units have their respective options panel divided into three tabs. This allows the customization. You can style them, add padding or margin values and you can manipulate these values in real time. The drag and drop interface will allow you to edit, duplicate, copy the units with ease and much flexibility, for which we will explore all these options as they are covered in additional content. Move the elements around by dragging them into the desired place. See how the width of the section changed accordingly when we moved our button. This is because each element will fill its space in the section and the width of the section will grow larger if we have more elements. Let's undo those mistakes. Simply click Ctrl or Command Z. Let's delete the section. Another way to build the page layout is to click on this plus icon here. 
it will generate us with a selection of section structures that we can choose based on the design we want to build. You can always tweak the structure to your desire. You can change the width and other settings on the go. Lastly, if you simply drag an element, it will take up its own space in the page and it will sit inside a column that sits inside a section. If you continue to add other elements, they will be organized vertically. To set up horizontal layouts, click on the columns handle and click on add new column. We have covered here all the main concepts on how to get started with neuron themes. Let's go ahead and start building our portfolio homepage. Follow us to the next video.